Hi, and welcome back to 8-Bit Resurgence. My name is Thomas. Today we're going to speak about printed circuit boards. I've been producing PCBs um, since about, ooh, about 2017. I think I did my first one, was a nice pick. Um, and I've used a variety of different um, PCB vendors, manufacturing vendors. And they're not all the same. Um, some are better than others, and in my experience. And uh, I'm, I have this video um, ready for you uh, to discuss some of the things that you should look for when, uh, when you're picking a PCB vendor. Um, so as you can see in the picture in picture, um, in the video up there, um, the first one we have here is an Osh Park um, PCB. And that Osh Park is a company that uh, will produce purple PCBs. That's kind of their trademark. And uh, you can usually, the, their minimum is three boards and they'll produce them for you from Gerber's or I think some other formats. Um, they're the first ones that I went with. Uh, they're the first ones that I found. And um, I ran about five different projects with them and three of them were bad. And when I say bad, it wasn't my fault. It was their fault. Um, the, uh, the boards themselves were flawed from them. Um, there were bridge traces um, that caused the board not to work. And that was a real hit because I was just starting um, making PCBs and designing things. Uh, so that was, that was a really tough lesson. Um, what I feel uh, from my later experience looking back is that they don't have any or sufficient quality control in place to verify that the um, manufactured board matches the Gerber files or source files that you've provided to them. Um, as such, I, I don't use them anymore um, and I won't recommend them to anyone anymore because of my bad experience with them. Um, they're also very expensive. Um, and some people say, oh, well, you can get PCBs done faster from them. And that's also not my experience. Um, might be somebody else's, but not mine. Uh, it takes just as long um, to get a PCB and in my experience it's a high likelihood that it's not going to work anyway. Um, so I, I don't buy, I won't use Osh Park anymore. Um, this is an Osh Park um, PCB that I got and uh, didn't work. Caused me never untold hours of grief trying to figure it out. Um, this is the finished board here, and uh, it's obviously done in black. Um, not that that matters any, um, but the blackboard um, leads me to the next company that I wanted to discuss. And the next company that I came upon is Elecro. Could be Elecro, I'm not sure. I call it Elecro. So that's a company that uh, that again, they produce PCBs, but uh, much more affordably, way cheaper than Osh Park. And uh, initially they seemed like a good company to deal with um, until I started uh, running into some problems. Again, I, I had uh, a couple, I think it was, at least one um, time when I got boards that had traces bridged. So uh, again, that tells me that they're, they're not checking um, like they should. Uh, but the other real big issue for me um, was that they do something and I was never able to figure it out. Um, but they do something with the boards. I think it has to do with the chemicals that they use in their cleaning process. That's the only thing that makes sense. Because if you look at these two boards, They look pretty much identical, don't they? They're both Enig boards. They're, they're gold-plated. And uh, 
they look good electrically they're identical um, however this PCB will not accept solder now it's the strangest thing I know it's a gold plated board and I use uh, flux core solder um, I've used uh, I use 1% and 3.5% lead solder um, that's the flux amount in the solder uh, and on every board that I've ever ordered um, I heat it the solder flows fine this board this thing repels solder like you can heat up that that pad and you touch the solder on it and it'll bead like water on a waxed car it's the strangest thing and that's not the first time that I've encountered that this particular board it's a mini zoom it's an open source project that I reworked a little bit myself um, and that th this thing repels solder as well now the those two boards are Elecro boards and I've talked to them about it and they said that it's my fault it's my solder it's not there um, completely denied it told me I'm on my own um, that's not the kind of customer service or company that I want to deal with um, I'd been using them for years their prices were good um, but it's a crapshoot whether you get a board that's going to work my last set was 200 boards and they're garbage I get to throw them away and that's that's a lot of money so I cannot recommend them either so I've further moved to a third PCB manufacturer and that's PCB way um, and they're the ones that I will use exclusively now they're um, a fabulous company to deal with and then before I go on I'm not being paid to say any of this this is just my view my evaluation of um, PCB companies um, their their process is really nice um, when you upload the PCB and it's approved um, checked with the engineers then you uh, it you pay for it and then it goes into the production process and you get to follow along with the production process and you know exactly where it is at any given point and then once it hit goes through all these stages and then at the end it says 100 percent packaging and off it goes and it gets to you quick in my experience for myself um, the quality of the boards wonderful solder flows on on the nig boards um, you know I've never had uh, problems flowing solder on the hassle boards which are the tin plated ones but the the gold ones um, have been an issue with the other manufacturer um, PCB way has been very good um, in dealing with from a customer service perspective when I had questions about them initially um, you know with my previous experiences with uh, other PCB manufacturers um, had questions and, and they answer promptly um, there's an online chat available you can talk to them um, and you know where you are and in at any time in the process there are even videos along the way that you can see exactly what the machines look like that are that are manufacturing your board it's it's actually quite a an informative and interesting process um, so they're the company that I run all my boards through exclusively now um, I want uh, reliability and I want quality and that's what I'm seeing from all the boards that I'm getting from PCB way so um, you know with there are so many uh, open source projects now um, for our 8-bit machines uh, lots of people donating their time and their designs um, out on github uh, is one place where uh, you can find projects and it's so easy now I mean it used to be that you'd have to get the board or you'd lay it up and you'd have to photograph it and you'd have to use the chemicals in your home and you know make your own PCBs and it was uh, it was really an exclusive thing for those that were 
into the hobby to that extent. They were real electronic geeks and, and they really want, got into it. Um, but nowadays, I mean, anybody can, can get into this. Um, you can go out on GitHub, you can find a project. You know, for example, I, I put out um, the Phantom out there. You can go order a Phantom board. The build materials is on the GitHub, just like all the other um, many other projects. Some of them are less complete than others, but you have to just look through and see what's out there and what you want to do. Um, you can, in a lot of cases, um, they, they'll provide you even Mauser or DigiKey or some other um, electronics manufacturing um, lists of, of part numbers. Um, in the case of the Phantom, um, I include uh, Mauser numbers, and there's mauser.com and .ca for those of us in Canada. Um, otherwise, mauser.com for, for those in the U.S. And, um, you know, Europeans can, can find their parts from their local um, businesses. So you order the parts, and then uh, by the time you get the parts, you probably have the boards. It, it, the process is very quick. And uh, then you, you solder them up. Uh, according to the directions on the GitHub, if there is, or you find a, a Facebook group or a, a forum or, or something, you know, it, there's lots of information out there. And then you're, you're off and building cool projects, you know, like a, a Pi-1541 fast load cartridge. It's all integrated. That's a really neat uh, open source one. Um, there are uh, 1541 hybrids um, that you can create that'll work on a Commodore PET or a 64. Um, there's a, op a couple open source um, projects like that. Um, simpler cartridges, there's fast load cartridges, there's, um, the, like I showed you, the, the mini zoom. Um, that one's a really neat one. It's like the, uh, the zoom floppy. It allows you to hook up a, a 1541 to your PC and transfer files from the net to real floppies and then you can, you can use them on your computer. Um, these little boards, they're all out there. Now, um, some of them do use uh, s smaller integrated components. These are um, surface mounted um, things. So it uh, depends how shaky your hands are. Uh, if you are older and you got shakier hands, then maybe the surface mounted stuff isn't right for you, but there's a lot of uh, through the hole um, boards, you know, like, like that one. Um, this is all through the hole components. It uh, uses a, a number of uh, IC, logic ICs, uh, an EEPROM, and uh, a few resistors, a transistor, and a couple, of, uh, a few capacitors. And then you have a board. In this case, it's a, an ice pick cartridge. Boards are available. Um, parts are available. There's, there's lots of different projects out there. But I really wanted to discuss uh, the pitfalls of, of PCB manufacturing because um, you know, it's, it's important to find a company that has good customer service and produces a good quality product. And, you know, in my experience today, customer service really is lacking and quality is lacking. Um, it's something that we've lost from decades before. We used to have better quality things. Um, and that trend has, has followed through in, in, parts and customer service and manufacturing and it has touched PCB um, production as well. Um, so I do highly recommend PCB Way. I'm very happy with them. Um, their products are fantastic. Uh, I love the fact that I can follow along the process. Um, they always seem to be there if I have any questions about anything. Um, their prices are fine, um, certainly comparable to uh, Elcro, for example. They come very, very close to the price, um, but it is, it's something, it, you know, it's, it's more than just price, though. I mean, yes, Osh Park is out of this world. I mean, you know, you want um, 50 of these boards and you've got to mortgage your house from Osh Park. Whereas 50 from Elecro or PCB Way, um, it's a reasonable price. So really, Osh Park is, is, isn't even in the picture. Um, 
the problems that I've had with Enig boards um, and the length of manufacturing time, um, one of my last orders, it sat there for six weeks and I couldn't get an answer as to why, um, why it was sitting there for six weeks in production. And when I did get an answer, they said, it's in production. So it's, it was really useless. So I won't go with them again. They're, they're just, um, their quality control isn't there um, in my experience. And PCB way is, is the way I'm going to go with my boards because I like their products. Um, I like their process and their price is good. Um, I'm going to include a link in the description um, where if you haven't ordered PCBs before and you want to give them a try, um, there's a, the, I think it's a $5 off coupon uh, when you go in there and sign up and place your order, whether it's through one of their uh, shared projects area, which um, is an area I also wanted to mention. Um, it's a place where people can share their projects um, with the community and order them directly through PCB Way. So I've, for example, myself, I've um, put some of my projects out there. Um, I put my uh, 1581 board out there. I've, I've done my Phantom, uh, CSI Connect, um, which is a device that allows you to plug a 1541, no, uh, it allows you to plug a, an IEEE drive into this device and then access it using the serial cable from your Commodore 64 or 128, uh, which is really cool. Um, and you get a uh, speed advantage about two times uh, 1541. And in my view, that kind of offsets the lack of parallel um, access to an IEEE drive. It's just super convenient to use. Uh, and that's a really, really neat project. It's a really easy one to do. Uh, parts are readily available and it's all through the whole stuff. Um, it's super easy to solder up. Um, so that, that's a really cool project to do. Um, but you know, those are just a, a few of the ones that I have on mine. Um, but there are lots of projects out there. Uh, if you at all are interested in soldering up projects, trying out some new things with your old, uh, Commodore, um, you know, check it out and, uh, see if you can find a project that sparks your interest and uh, grab a couple boards. Their, their prototyping service is like five bucks for five boards, I think. If they're not, you know, real big boards, if, if they're a smaller board, you know, like I think cartridge size or, or certainly this, um, this mini zoom, um, you know, it doesn't cost that much um, to, to get started and uh, you make some fun projects and a sense of accomplishment when you do it. But nothing is worse than ordering a PCB that's garbage when it gets to you. That's why I've discounted the first two. So highly recommend PCB Way. Uh, great company to deal with. Um, and again, they didn't pay me to say this. Um, I'm just tickled pink to find a company that has great customer service. It, it's hard to find nowadays. Uh, and produces a great quality product. So I wanted to throw that out there because there's uh, so many people, again, in the community nowadays and the, uh, the boards are out there and ready for you to uh, try. Easy to get parts, easy to solder up. Anybody with some interest can get into it and it's a lot of fun. Um, so that's it for this video. I appreciate you um, hanging around to the end to, to see how it turns out. Um, and I'll see you at the next video. And again, please um, do subscribe if uh, you'd like to see um, more videos and like the video if you thought it was cool. Bye for now.